Hey guys, this is Amir with another review, with another quick review. Today we're going to review Mazda 5 2008. And this car, Mazda made like minivans before with the MPV, but then they switch up with Mazda 5 generation. And it comes, and it came with two generation, but because of the sluggish sales volume, they didn't make, they didn't make this car anymore. And I would like to call this car an old samurai, because it still has the power and it still, takes off it's one of the and worst then, samurai that i saw in my life nah, you, <laughs> bro, you're gonna face me after this video <laughs> so starting with the exterior you can see that like they put like big headlights halogen headlights and this is the gt pack so like this is like the model that is loaded with features this is the highest yeah this is like the highest okay. trim model and walking by the side you can see the low profile tires that help us with the handling, but it has a bit like rough riding around the cities. And some, one of the good things about these Mazdas is that the disc pad and the brake pad is pretty big for a vehicle this size. And what that means is like over, like over, like over a long time, uh, you don't have to change your uh, brake pad often because like this is really big for a vehicle this size. So it's kind of like economical in a way. This car has the Mazda 3 powertrain and Mazda 3 suspension system but the wheelbase has been a bit stretched out so it's a bit longer than Mazda 3 and it's a bit smoother than Mazda 3 and you can see at the back that in the headlights these are this is 2008 so it's not like one of those 2007s with the circle light this has like a straight light which I think has a better has a better looking and looking at the trunk it has 17 cubic feet of space when these without like with these seats up yeah. and when you and the third row is pretty easy to remove just press that and then you have 44.4 cubic feet of space if you uh, fold down the second row with the second row which the seats are tapped in chair so it's pretty easy to let me show them from this side. Oh, that's a bunch of a space. Yeah, it's pretty for vehicle this size. That's it's a minivan, yeah. Bedroom, yeah. Oh. And well, I will call it super minivan. <laughs> it's pretty small compared to a minivan. And when you third uh, fold down the second row seats, it will give you about like 142 cubic feet of space. Okay. And the seats are in pretty good shape. We're gonna go to the interior. Yeah. We're gonna check the interior. We'll check how the interior is. So, okay. Emerson, can you tell us a little bit about the engine? You want to start with the engine first? Yeah. So, yeah. Yes. Okay. So, let's see what's under the hood of this. Let's thing. see how reliable is this car. Pretty reliable. <laughs> it's an old samurai. Okay. So. <clears throat> Over here we see the 2.3 engine, VVTI, variable valve timing engine, 16 okay. valve. The, this engine is 2.3 liter it, and it's pretty efficient. And for 2008, it has like pretty good technology. It has 153 horsepower and 146 power feet of torque, which around town, it feels pretty peppy and it feels pretty quick. And surprisingly, this engine is not Mazda's engine. It's a cooperation between Ford and Mazda. But they end their partnership in 2015. But this car is basically Ford engine, Ford design engine. And luckily, we have transmission diff stick. Some of these new manufacturers, some of these new manufacturers, they decide to go cheap. And like Dodge or Chrysler, they don't provide you with the transmission diff sticks. Hey guys, it's Kian, the finance manager from Cars or the Sales. Today I'm here to talking about the pricing for this vehicle and the options that you guys have for this type of vehicle. So uh, for this type of vehicle or used vehicle, some people do the financing for this type of vehicle. You can see a bunch of dealerships in Langley, Surrey, Richmond, that they finance old vehicle. This car has 240, I think, uh, something 2,000 like kilometers. Okay, yeah. yeah. So, which means that for financing is not a good option, to be honest with you guys, because the interest rate for used car is going to be much higher than brand new cars. And usually for this type of car, 
there is no any good lenders that can give you an approval to give you enough loan to finance this new car for yourself and usually private company give you this opportunity to finance this type of cars for this car the value for this car is between four thousand five hundred dollars to six thousand dollars it depends where do you buy and which kind of discount the owner is going to give to you but to be honest with you if you have cash that's the best option but for financing i don't recommend it at all and it's wasting money and wasting time because the interest rate is going to be at least 20 percent and no one wants to pay 20 percent interest rate for used vehicle thank you so now we're gonna go and see the interior and i'm really wondering for like a 2008 car and a utility car because it's not like one of those like yeah. higher luxury cars we're gonna see how the material holds up since 2008. so it has leather seats inside wow and <laughs> Most of my one of my favorite thing, if you come closer, we can show them here that it says this part. Made this in is Japan, my favorite. yeah. Made in Japan. And you can see like the letters are pretty. It's not one of Canadian Japanese cars. Yeah. <laughs> and like I can see it's pretty in good shape. Now I'm gonna sit inside and how tall are you? <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'm between like six feet six one. Not quite sure exactly, but my seat is all the way down, and I'm feeling comfortable. Although you can push the seats down if you do this, that means it brings your seats down. But if you do this, bring this off. You can see I'm going higher, yeah. but I rather to have it down. And now I'm a bit disappointed because this is not a power seat, so it doesn't have like lumbar support or it doesn't like have like any. Uh, it has a height adjustment, but it's like you have to do work, like you have to work for it. Well, look, if you compare it with Dodge Caravan, it has a bunch of options that well, yeah, yeah. American cars never put on. Dodge Caravan, yeah. Well, that will be the, we will review that. We're actually going to review that soon, but yeah. I mean, the seat is comfortable, and it's just like I'm a bit disappointed. It's not power seat for four thousand dollars car. It's and fair. yeah, and most of the people who buy this car are is like. The ones that are looking for like small businesses or like maybe some of them for DoorDash or maybe like construction workers or like some electricians. This is a good car for them because it's pretty cheap. For which year is this car? 2008. 2008. Okay. And from the material inside, the knobs, if you can show them, the knobs is like pretty easy to reach. I'm not bending down. And this like plastic here is hold up in pretty good value. And like the shifter also, the plastic around it after like since 2008 almost after 14 years no scratch or like it's just like it still has good quality although i'm a bit disappointed by this seriously hard touch plastic now see? this is like like some of this is stitching here it's or still like, better than brand new cars yeah and also like <laughs> here it could be a bit disappointing it, it could feel a bit cheap but um, well, let me be honest with you yeah. brand new cameras are even Worse than worse this. Than that, yeah. But that's why we're reviewing used cars. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, overall, the material inside is pretty good. The steering wheel, the leather on the wheels, like there's no cracks, it's still in good shape. <clears throat> and the knob is pretty accessible to reach. You know where your light is, you know where your windshield is. Okay. And it has cruise control. And it's, you can set up the speed, and it's pretty good. Like I, I tested on some of the uphills, and the cars go. So the cruise control still works accurately and it has heated seat also some of these model doesn't have heated seat but this oh one has goodness. heated seat it has heated seat and even my lexus doesn't have it <laughs> and it has moonroof oh if you could show them oh the moonroof yeah or maybe i it's can show so them. weird the moonroof here and uh, right now it's wet so i'm not gonna open the moonroof <laughs> and uh and it also has <clears> your <throat> conditioning at the back which i will show you guys so let's go at the back. Let's see if I could put in a second row or not. Surprisingly, I fit. My headroom is pretty good. Although the, the your head is row, good, you can. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> the, the second row is a captain chair, and the front row is also captain chair. Okay. So it's pretty comfort comfortable. But I'll, keep in mind, these car, these seats are not removable. It's not like some of those bigger minivans that you can remove the seat. Okay. And that could be a bit disappointing. That could be one of the cons of this vehicle. But my legroom is nice. And I'm sitting beside my bag, behind my bag. 
and it's pretty good and also as you show them here you can see the back has air conditioning and you can control it from the front you can turn it on and off from the front but i wish they also put like a heated uh some of like like heated uh module also for the back not only the air conditioning Come but on at me. least they provide 2008 car. at least they provide us with the uh like air conditioning at the back it's, it's still cool. above average yeah <laughs> and the jars are not electric but when you bring them so close it goes okay. by itself so it's not fully electric okay and let's go see that at the back okay Right now, we're going to go test out the third row seat. It's pretty easy to get in. Even you can yeah. sit there, so... <laughs> uh, I wouldn't recommend... I mean, like, I can fit here. It's for kids. Now, if you want, like, you can put, push the seat a bit, like, backward to see, like, how it is. And, like... Yeah, I still have good amount of, like... My headroom is not that great. My legroom is kind of crap. But again, this is not like one of those big minivan. As I call this, this is like a utility mini, mini, minivan. It's like a super minivan. But I managed to fit at the third row seating and that's, I think it's good. All right, so let's just start with driving impression and start the vehicle. Start pretty smoothly. No rattling. I can't feel like this does has the Mazda 3 characteristic in it. Sometimes I feel like I'm driving Mazda 3. Although one of the cons of this vehicle, one of the pros is it has good amount of power. But the cons is that this car, for engine, this size is pretty light. So okay. the car is light, but the engine is strong. And like in snow or in maybe like if you want to corner in rain, you get a lots of understeer. So your front wheel is just like start spinning. And I can show you guys like here. Oh yeah. my goodness. So, it Do you want to kill us, I'm here? <laughs> it's not a so, good day for dying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's pretty fast. And like, if you're going fast around the corners, I wouldn't recommend it. Cause like the hit, this the whole car is just gonna tip over. But again, it's pretty rough riding. It's not like it's not as smooth as Toyota. It's like always Mazda has. It's like, not as smooth, yeah. It's not a smooth vehicle, and the shifting is quite quite nice. And I kind of love the transmission more than the engine, because the transmission is allowing me to downshift, and it's pretty smart. As soon as I put it in the manual mode, it just lets me to do my own thing. And So that's it for our review. Uh, Let's do the conclusion for the. So what do you think, Ian, about this car? So for me, you know, I'm never going to buy some this car because I don't need that. But based on my experience, I'm gonna get uh, this car six out of ten. Six out of ten. Yeah, okay. then that's because of the mileage. The mileage. How much yeah. is the mileage? It's 2,042 kilometers. Okay, two, 240. These Mazdas are like good until 3,000 kilometers, but I wouldn't recommend spending too much money on the one that has only like 240 yeah. or like 250, because that that's the sign that this car is almost falling apart and it's like yeah. almost his end age. So I will give this car seven out of 10. Seven out of 10. Because okay. this car is, com uh, they convert, they um, compare this car to Corolla and Honda Civic, because it has Mazda 3 engine in compared it. Compared with other RAM. Oh, because of the... Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. But I'm comparing the powertrain. Yeah. Because this is like, no way, this is not like comparable to Dodge Caravan or to Toyota Sienna. Because yeah. they're V6, they're bigger cars. Um, their suspension setups is a bit different. This car has independent suspension. It's a bit rough. You know, rough. the reason that they gave 6 to this car, car to this van actually, because usually people that they buy van, they want to use it for work. They, yeah. they are heavy user. They are not normal user. And they have family, they have a big family, they go around and 
243,000 kilometers is too much for this car. If you want to uh, spend $4,000, $5,000 for a used car, it's better to spend $2,000, $3,000 more and get a lower mileage of this car. But it's a really fuel efficient car. You have to keep in mind this too, because yeah, V6 is gas killer. 9.5 liters in city and eight liters in highway, which is pretty good for it's vehicle so design. good. And again, uh, as I said earlier, this is like a utility, utility minivan. So, and also if you live in Canada, we're not gonna like drag race everywhere. So yeah. I think it has good amount of power and I think that's it for today. Yep, that's a really good car, super reliable. Thanks and for watching us and supporting us. No worries, thank you so much guys. Have a nice day, bye-bye.